Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. Today, I am joined by my friends, Angie and Eric. And we are here to talk about a very serious topic, something that we've been talking about on and off for a while now, and that is narcissistic abuse and cults. Now, before we get into this conversation, I just want to take a moment to let everybody know that we're not here to judge anyone. All we're here to do is just to look at particular points of this, these forms of abusive organizations and point out where people might be manipulated. What we're trying to do is allow people the opportunity to self-reflect in order to save themselves. In the description box below, you will find some references under show notes. After this conversation, if you feel like you might be in danger, that maybe you've gotten a little too wrapped up into a high control organization, please make sure to check out these references and please know that there are therapists out there who are specifically trained to help you deprogram. But before we get into this conversation, as always, a very special word from our sponsors. My Uncle Dan used to talk about QTR. QTR meant for him quality time remaining. My Uncle Dan was a very active cyclist and a very avid hiker. And after he retired, after a long career, he decided that he really wanted to make the most of the years he had left where there was quality to his life before the aging process really limited his ability to enjoy things like cycling and hiking. Unfortunately, my Uncle Dan did lose his battle to cancer back in 2019, but when I was first introduced to the ASEA product, all I kept thinking about was my Uncle Dan and his concoction post-retirement of quality time remaining. As human beings, we've been taught that as our body starts to age, we eventually have to start giving up some of the activities that we enjoyed. For my uncle, that was cycling and hiking. With the ASEA supplement, what this product does is it restores signaling back into the body. Signaling, our communication between the cells of the body, is what actually allows the aging process to happen. Your body is designed by nature, by God, whatever you want to call that higher consciousness, it's designed to heal itself. That's why the cells communicate. That's why you have an immune system. But unfortunately, as we become conditioned to the toxins of this world, that immune system and that signaling system start to wear down. When our body loses signaling, that's what causes wrinkles. That's what causes cellulite. That's what causes the hair to gray. And for men, that's potentially what causes hair loss. As Dr. Silverman has used as an example, when we are a child and we fall off of our bicycle and skin our knees, our recovery time is pretty quick. This is because we have an abundance of redox or signaling in our bodies. But after puberty and into our adulthood, we rapidly start to lose this signaling. So if we were to fall off a bike at 80, that could mean life or death. Now for me, since I've been on the SIA now for about three months, I have noticed a tremendous amount of energy and endurance restored back to my life. As you guys all know, I am an avid exerciser. I truly believe in the power of a good sweat. And since starting the ASEA, I have noticed that my recovery time between workouts and my endurance within workouts has enhanced immensely. I'm able to go longer and harder. I've also noticed, as many of you guys have commented in the comment section, I'm 
feel like I'm getting younger or at least looking younger. No, my age keeps going up, but I look back and compare my videos now to the videos I did when I first started YouTube and I feel like I look younger now than I did then. And I do have to say that is most likely because of the ASEA. When I talked to my mother about this product, I mentioned the quality time remaining that my uncle Dan used to speak of and how with the ASEA for her as a grandmother, this product can give her the potential to have a lot longer quality time of playing in the backyard with her grandchildren. In fact, so many amazing, incredible stories can be found in comment sections of this video and on Asiya's own YouTube channel, which I will place down in the description box below. Now, we can't make any medical claims with this product as it is just a supplement. But from my perspective and from all of the um, perspectives and experiences I've read from you guys, this product has done nothing but enhance every single person's life every single person's quality time remaining, whether that be 50 years or 10 years. We see a lot of people talk about med beds, this idea of med beds. Everybody's waiting for a med bed, but what if I told you, in my opinion, the med bed is already here. With the ASEA, what it comes with, each liquid, it's a liquid, each liquid comes with its own shot glass. The shot glass is about two ounces. Each person is instructed to take between four and eight ounces a day. You take a little shot of the ASEA, you swish it around for 30 to 60 seconds so that you allow the saliva to carry the redox where it wants to carry it, and then you swallow the rest. The redox is so genius, and the creators of this product are so genius that in my opinion they really really honored and respected god's design because you see when you take the liquid redox you are allowing your body its own intelligence because the redox is just a tool it's just the signaling for your cells your cells your body is designed to heal itself and this is what helps the body to continue to heal itself and so when you take the liquid your body knows exactly where it needs to send the redox what part of your body is wounded what part of your body isn't so stable and so it sends the redox to that particular area so the cells in that area can start to communicate to get that particular area of the body back to where it needs to be now, of course, with this redox gel, you are able to direct the gel wherever you want it to go. So today I woke up and had a little bit of a creak in my neck. So I took the redox gel and I rubbed it on the back of my neck three times within five minutes. I personally, in my experience, automatically started to feel relief. You can also use this as a beauty supplement too. I've been using the gel on my thighs and on my boobs because yes, friends, I am 40 years old and as, as the aging process does occur, the body starts to droop a little bit. And no, I've never had children, so my boobs aren't as droopy as they could be if I had used them to feed a child, but they still are. You know, I got boobs and they, 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 they're, they're starting to sink a little bit. I also have stretch marks on my boobs that I've had my whole life because, you know, they grew at some point when I was a child. So I've been taking the gel and putting them on my chest. And not only have I noticed a difference, but my boyfriend has also noticed a different difference as well. My boyfriend has been putting the gel on his head. As he is in his 50s now, he has started to notice thinning of the hair, as most men do around that age in their lives. And he is starting to grow his hair back which is quite incredible. In fact, I find myself now when I walk past him putting my hand in his hair just to feel all the hair that's growing back on his head. You see, my friends, your body doesn't want to fail you. It wants to keep you going. It wants to keep you healthy. That is how God designed it. And this product is basically the controllers of this world's worst nightmare. Now, once again, I can't make any medical claims because this product is just a supplement, but 
from everything I have researched about this product, from all of the people using this product, you really can't go wrong with this product. And because this product uses the intelligence of your body, each individual person is going to start to notice different things occurring with this product. If you are interested in learning more about this product or purchasing this product or even becoming a part of the business of ASEA, please text Bryce Info to 321-216. 8047. Again, that's Bryce Info to 321-216-8047 and Jay or Hillis will get back to you as soon as possible. If you are texting from a country outside of the United States, please make sure that you add plus one. 321-216-8047 plus one is our country code. And in your text, on top of texting Bryce info, just make sure you let Jay or Hillis know that you are texting from a country outside the United States so they can arrange a call with you on WhatsApp or Signal or Zoom, any application that's not going to charge you. With that being said, another amazing thing about the SEA company is that they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if this product doesn't work for you or isn't what you expected after the first 30 days, they will refund you. All right, back to our show. Hello, everybody. Once again, welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and I'm joined here today for this very important conversation with my in real life friends, Eric and Angie. How are you guys doing today? Good on, uh, let's see, 4 35, 36, 37, 30, like three hours of sleep. You look fantastic, <laughs> Thanks. We're all wearing black. As Eric said, it's because the mix is yeah. slim. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Eric? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just happy to be here with both of you. Yeah, so, this is a really yeah. important conversation. We, it's so important. And it's something that the three of us have talked about offline a lot, just as friends. And I, before we get into it, I do want to apologize. I, it is freaking hot. Listen, I'm sweating harder than a whore in church right now. And so I've got a fan blowing on me. So if you hear, if you see my hair moving in the wind, that's why. Um, of course, I am not in my typical location. I'm actually, speaking of this topic, I'm actually here because I am giving testimony for one particular pseudo cult leader that we have in the truther community. And the reason why I'm giving testimony is because this particular cult leader has crossed the line into criminal behavior. And so that is why I'm in a different location right now than where you normally see me. Um, as I told you guys last week, some of the videos that are going to be dropping this week, I you will see me in my regular set. It's because I pre-recorded because I knew I was going to be here really busy giving my testimony um, for these criminal charges. But with that being said, that's what we're going to kind of talk about today um, is cults and um the dangerous uh high control organization and um the the dangerous stuff that we're starting to see in our own community on the internet on the interwebs especially platforms like telegram and so as i said in the opening and i know i, I can i know i can speak for eric and angie when we say this is this is not meant to be an episode where we're casting judgment on anybody I think all three of us have fallen for some of these tactics. And so mm -hmm. we're here to kind of show you um, mm -hmm. some, some tips and some pointers before you get yourself stuck in a situation that ruins your life or, you know, causes you financial ruin. And, and we really hope that this will be a moment for people to self reflect. Now, the thing about cults and high control organizations that are dangerous is that there's always grains of truth within their ideology. And I do want to start off by saying that, and I, we were just saying that before we hit the record, the one thing I have learned from Dr. Romney and Dr. Yanya, which we will put a bunch of links down in the show notes for resources, um, is that people who join cults, you know, I've heard it said from our friend Kelly Teal, who is a Nexium and Mark Vicente in Nexium, that nobody wakes up in the morning and thinks it's a great day to join a cult, right? You join a group because you have, you, you're, you're idealistic and you, you want to make the world a better place. And you think you've found a community that has your same goals in mind. And the truth of the matter is, is the other cult members do. It's just the person on top that is manipulating that. Again, darkness cannot create anything. It can't create anything. Only the light can create. What darkness does is it steals from the light and inverts it. And so that's what we're seeing within the truther community. 
Um, that's what we're seeing within the normie community, or the normie side, although the normie side is way less dangerous than what's happening on the truther community side. We're seeing this on both sides of the political aisle. We're seeing this everywhere. We're seeing these high control organizations. I think the internet has really helped cults develop faster. Um, and so, so yeah, and before we get started, uh, the Cassiopeians did drop a new channeling and this is kind of how I want to kick off this conversation. The Cassiopeians, I'm paraphrasing what they said. They said that uh, no information is better than wrong information. No information is better than wrong information. And there is a lot of wrong information that's being sold to us on the, in the truth or community that is forcing people, whether they know it or not, to go fourth density negative unfortunately. And so do you guys want to add anything to that before we start looking at some stuff? Well, I'll say even last night, I got kind of lured in <laughs> to a to a um, thing on Twitter where people were like, uh, you know, speaking, you could listen in kind of like the telegram thing that we were doing at the time. Um, and they wanted me to speak at first. So they, they turned my microphone on. And then as soon as I started speaking, of course, I'm going to be like all spiritual and you know you've got it all inside of you um they cut me off and and that i think i screenshot that and sent it to you and eric i was like cult <laughs> censorship. we're gonna get to the censorship it's huge and we're seeing um, honestly guys i was just saying the normies have it better than we do because the normies are just out there living their lives and that's what the cassiopeians were saying Ignorance is bliss. They're living their lives. Most of the normies are good people. They're working to better their communities. They're kind. They're just living their lives. And we're over here in some, uh, it kind of reminds me of Scientology with their sea organization, where they, they're, they're paramilitary. They dress like the military, but it's like, what were you fighting? Like, it's like, it's like cosplay or, you know, like LARPing with a yeah. live action role playing. I'm like, I kind of feel like that's us too. And they're like, like we're like, like, what were you fight? Like, you know, mm -hmm. You're supposed to be here to live your life and, and it's your frequency and it's inside of you. And that, you know, that we know that there's a group of controllers out there doing very nefarious things. We're not denying that. That is true. However, how, how do you counter that? You counter that by being a better person. That's Mr. Fox has said that the Cassiopeians have said that they go low. We go even higher by being even better to our neighbors and kinder to ourselves and, and people really being who we are. And so Eric, is there Can I ask like yeah. who the Cassiopeians are? Because I will tell you, like people don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'll put a, I'll put that down in the show notes too. So the Cassiopeians, Mr. Fox, as well as my boyfriend, these are channelings that both of them only listen to. They will not listen to other. And we're going to talk about divination as a form of manipulation. Um, mm -hmm. and they, they are they're great. The board, the Cassiopeian board, they're us from the future talking to us now. I swear to God. So every time they channel, they get somebody else. If a Bryce pops up one day, I'm going to shit my pants. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, but they don't give you enough. They don't give you enough to control you. <clears throat> They're very vague sometimes. You know, they'll just say something like, well, because they can't, they can't interfere with our free will, right? Because that's the positive thing is not, and you don't want to interfere with anybody's free will. You don't want to, you don't want coercive control, uh, which Dr. Yanya calls coercive control bounded choice, where you don't really have a choice because you're being coerced into making your decisions um we saw that on the other side of this with these um the coercive mm. control right um uh, but we do the same thing in the truth or community and so the cassiopeians are us in the future and they've been channeling since 1994 they have yet to be wrong so they've kind of proven themselves and they actually laugh they actually make fun of other divinations and other divinators because they say all everybody else is doing is just talking to a bunch of dead people and those dead people are just as lost as you guys are <laughs> Mm. which i think is hysterical so some dead dudes who really are just as lost as you are so anyway but eric is there anything you want to add to that before because i know you had uh, experiences with narcissists and cult leaders and oh yeah um okay so <clears throat> well no <laughs> um, I, I, you know what uh yeah just narcissists they they need a supply you know and it's unfortunate not and the people that get sucked in they aren't bad people no they're good people no. 
you know, they're good people with good intentions, you know, great intentions, you know, they want to help, they want to do all this stuff, you know, and then narcissists, I don't know, they can't be wrong ever, ever, you know, and then, but when they are, are wrong and they're proven wrong, you know, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, they shit, they shit their pants, I guess. All hell, hell breaks loose. Know. We're going to get you yeah, to right. that all hell will break loose. And that's where it becomes down to choice because right. uh, in Scientology, they call it fair gaming, um, which is what we're seeing in the truther community too. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the person that I'm giving, to, and I feel a little bit, a little bit more comfortable talking about this because there's already, already a case number in the state of Georgia. I've been working with law enforcement for a while now. So in the case with this one pseudo cult le leader on Telegram, um, I said no to this person. I said no, that I wasn't going to do a show that this person was trying to manipulate me into doing. Because I said no, and I held my grounds and I held my boundaries. I ended up blocking this person. And so this person created a whole story around me that was not true at all. A complete load of shit, complete load of lies. But her flying monkeys, which we'll talk about the term flying monkeys. It comes from the Wizard of Oz. It's a term they actually use in clinical therapy. It are, it are, they're people who enable the narcissist or enable the cult leader. They're the people who do the cult leader's dirty work. Or the, like the flying monkeys of the Wizard of Oz went out and did the Wicked Witch of the West dirty work. Right? And so they send your flying monkeys, which when I was dealing with the Atlanta police in this situation. So basically I said no to this person. And so she created a story that I was trafficking. I have to be careful about what I say, but from India, which is completely not uh, true. completely. And that is so damaging and it's not true at all. It's it's and she said, I've been doing it. I've been doing it for doing it for 20, it for 20 years in cults, right? You can't question the leader. You can't question them. I haven't been going to India for 20 years. I'm only 40 years old. So 20 years ago, I was a 20 year old girl. I'm sorry. Most 20 year old girls are dumbasses. They don't have the fortitude or the wherewithal to run criminal enterprises. I was in college at 20. I wasn't doing, I started doing yoga 17 years ago. Now, when I started now to go to India, to go to school. So let me ask you guys, Angie and Eric, if you want to be a lawyer, let's just say tomorrow you wake up and you decide you want to be a lawyer. Can you just go to law school? No, you have to take the LSATs. You have to get accepted. Same thing with the school I went to in India. You don't just go there. You have to qualify. So for years, I practiced under particular teachers in the United States to qualify for the school in mm -hmm. India. I have letters of recommendation. So you don't go as a beginner, right? It's like a yoga college, right? So I was accepted in 2015. That was my first trip. That was my first trip was 2015. My foundation was opened in 2016. Now, the funny thing is, in this whole debacle, not once did she mention my foundation's name. Now, if my foundation is so bad, then what's its name? Why won't you tell people the name of it? It's one of two reasons why she won't say the name of it. Either she doesn't know it, which if she doesn't know the name of it, then how does she know what it does? Or she knows if she says the name of it, people can look it up and find that it hasn't been open for that long, right? And so what was happening to me and why the police had to get involved is that people in that group were enabling the conversation about me being executed, talking about my dog, who was gonna get my, like, like vultures, like who was gonna get my dog once I was dead, one post about me hanging from a tree. Well, the police have all that now. The police absolutely have all that now. Um, and so they are watching that telegram group right now. So there might be more arrest. I don't know. It's in their hands, but you know, you have to be careful. And we see that with a lot of these big cults, mm -hmm. like next, like Scientology, <clears throat> that people get sucked into these groups. And Dr. Yanya talks about this, that their moral compass becomes skewed because they are under the complete control of the leader. So they're doing the leader's bidding. Now, at well, this point, I make you feel so smart, you know, like, and, you know, that's 
whatever that thing is that you need to feel like validated for. It's I feel like that's what they use. Well, and they make you, so this particular case, this person is making everybody feel like they're part of some huge military operation. They're not. Right. This person claims, and we're going to talk about that because Dr. Yanya, who is a cult specialist, she created four different major characteristics characteristics of a cult the first one is the authoritarian or charismatic leader so there has to be in this dr yanya i hope i'm saying this right i would love to get dr yanya on the show but she was saying when we look at just a narcissist and narcissism has many different levels right there's covert there's malignant there's you know it's, it's like on a sliding scale when we mm -hmm. get into cults though we're looking at psychopaths so all psychopaths are narcissists, but not all narcissists are psychopaths, right? So this is getting into psychopathy. And so what this leader does is they demand all loyalty and obedience. You cannot question this person. You cannot question them. <laughs> I've made that mistake of questioning people. And next thing I know, there's a huge smear campaign because I question them. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. They, um, they spiritually manipulate. So we see this with a lot of divination tools being man it's spiritual manipulation. Um, with this person, she claims that she is a descendant of a very famous scientist. She's not. I have all the documentation. There are no descendants of this person. It's all manipulation. And if she really were, she should show proof. This person has never met with Mr. T but claims to be, and she tells her followers that she's talking to him in her head. It's all in her head. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot to get my yeah. meeting pad and bring it on with me right now. Oh, you're, yeah, because she, yeah, that was the one with the heating paddle. Yeah, it's crazy. But <laughs> I don't know if Eric's ever heard that, but she claimed that she would put a heating pad on her head and Oh, I, I do. I, I do remember she was talking about a heating pad. She used to sleep with a heating pad. Um, anyway, uh, but when I, I don't know, she stopped sleeping with a, with a heating pad. And then. Um, <laughs> We're talking about people, that's <laughs> Wait. It's, well, see, on the outside, but when you're so, so what happens is they use these charismatic leaders, love <laughs> You feel like you're part of some military expedition that's saving the world. You're going to be in the history books and they're going to make sure you're taken care of because they have this special relationship with Mr. T or whoever it is, or they're the conduit. She has said multiple times, she speaks for God, honey, we all speak for God. God is not that that's a pecking order and a pecking order. According to the law of one, anything falling in a pecking order is negative. It's not polarized positive, it's polarized negative. So you're forcing yourself to be enslaved when you're following the leader like that, which is you going forth density negative. So all these people, so if we look back at how Dr. Yanya talks about this, so all these people, including us, we've learned about these atro atrocities across the world. We want to, we want law and order. We want to get these nasty people, you know, we want them to be held accountable for their crimes against humanity. And so our ideology that's actually really positive, like a narcissist, a cult leader or a cult, will take the best parts of a human being, their empathy, their compassion, <clears throat> and will manipulate it and twist it to the point where now that person's moral compass has been grossly skewed and they mm -hmm. have a choice and they're bound to choice. <laughs> so they deify themselves. Again, this one particular person claims to be a descendant of someone she's not. We see this with a lot of other cults, especially in the truth or community, where people claim to be of some galactic heritage, where there's some overlord of a galactic group. You know, mm -hmm. this stuff you can prove, right? And that is, again, establishing a pecking order, which is what the law of one says is fourth density negative. When you go positive, oh. fourth density negative. Positive. It's a social memory bank where everyone's working equally together, right? So we see how the, the cults are taking really good parts of humanity and manipulating it because darkness can't create anything, right? So for like with me, when I said, basically, I'll tell you guys what happened. I was doing a telegram show on Thursdays with my friend, Michael. 
I am never on Telegram because I'm on YouTube. And it takes a lot to run a YouTube channel. I'm just never on. I, I can't be in multiple places at once. But I said, cool, I'll do this Telegram channel. Well, the channel, the episode th that we would do on Thursday, sometimes would go like four hours. And, I, and Angie, you were in there a lot. I actually really enjoyed it because I got to talk to people like one-on-one. -on -one, and I got to really try to help and share my education to help people get their power back. Like, I really did enjoy that. Well, I found out that the owner of this channel was doing some really nasty things very abusive things to some women and then i found out the owner of this channel had started had said that i was born a man i was not born a man that's a lie that's defamation i was born a female and angie you know me in person you've seen me in person and mm -hmm. I, I do and i female yeah. or my i told eric before i was like you think she's pretty on youtube you should see her in person <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, Angie, mm -hmm. you're gorgeous too. But I'm very female. My body is very, very female. There's no, there's no denying that I was born a female. And as my boyfriend said, you just, just, just mail them your used tampons. Like you get your period every month since I was 12, you know? And so I said to this guy, like, here I am. I'm doing these shows every Thursday to help him build his Telegram channel. I'm not being paid for this. We're never, we're, are, are you guys paid for being on this show right now? Mm -hmm. I never paid. This is all, we all do this. Nope. I've never been paid to be on a show. It's all just volunteer. And I don't mind doing that. I really like helping that. What the guy was doing. I was doing horrific things. So when I something happening with the sound. Can y'all mm -hmm. hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's okay. just like every once in a while when you get into something that is heavy, like, like meaningful, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it's... Let for a while, it. for a while, it's been your your lips are not moving with the sound. Yeah, you know? it's not syncopated. Okay. I thought I was the only one seeing it, but no. Okay. No. <laughs> I remember when it happened too. <laughs> right when she started talking about the person. Right. So, right. Yeah. Uh, well, that gets into the spiritual side, which I wasn't even going to talk about. This. All right, be gone, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll let all of my. Uh, all of my team, my uh, guards and guardian, uh, guards and guardians, guides, guardians. Guides. I, I can't guides, do guardians. They like to, guides and angels, guides and angels. Guides mm -hmm. to protect this mm -hmm. because this is a very important. We want people not to be manipulated. Our intention is to really help people start digging for themselves and claiming their sovereignty and and saying no to these these abusers. We don't want anybody to be abused. Like we didn't sign mm -hmm. up for this. We're more people to be abused, did we, guys? Like, we want... Right, just like that, now your voice and the sound are yeah, in sync. Right, right. Just like that. Right. And I also... No, go, ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I also want to say that um, yeah. you've talked a lot about organic portals, too. You know? And I feel like... Well, I, I know that no one who is sold, like S-O-U-L-E-D, is going to be like... A cult leader, you know. No. I don't. I don't think they will be. Hurt people. Well, and that's really when I was saying, like, when I found out this guy was doing abusive things to women, especially saying, "Hoff, off, I, I declined to do a show anymore. I wasn't going to be a part of that because I didn't want. Even, I, I didn't want to hurt anybody. I didn't want to be a part of anything that was hurting other people, especially myself. Especially since he was saying this stuff about me, and I was going out on a limb to help him. Well, when I said no to this guy. The other person, the cult leader, said that I was being ordered by Mr. T to do this show every Thursday on his channel. I was being ordered to do it by my commander in chief. Now, listen, if Mr. T or anybody else in this world wants you to do a mission for them, they're going to tell you themselves. I'm not being paid. I'm not. This is all volunteer. Volunteer. So being forced to do work without pay is called slavery. And I said, no. And she said, but this is, and I said, I don't believe you. Mr. T would never force me to do something that I was uncomfortable with. And I'm out. I'm not doing it anymore. And then I blocked her. And that's when the whole smear campaign started and death threats started. And I have those on a thumb drive that is now with the police. Um, and so they are watching that group because that's what happens. A lot of cults never 
legally get broken up because they don't cross those lines into criminal behavior. When they start crossing the lines into criminal behavior, that's when usually it takes a while sometimes. I mean, look what, look how many years did it take for Nexium to come down, you know? And so all our intention here is to make sure that you, the viewer, protects yourself and doesn't end up getting arrested too for being a flying monkey and saying, I'm going to be swinging from a tree or talking about my execution or trying to support my execution because it is considered a death threat. And that is criminal. So, um, so just putting that out there. All right. So we have the authority, authority, authoritarian charismatic leader, the transcendental belief system, which is number two, that's the ideology. So that gives you answers to everything. The ends justify the means. So again, as we were before we started filming, let me guys, let me, they, you know, let me know if they start messing with our recording again. So we see that with the whole um, white hat, black cat scenario. We see all this shit happening in the world right now. The mm -hmm. mutilation of these people in the school systems. We see um, inflation. We see so many things going on and people are going, oh, don't worry. Wink, wink. It's the white hats doing it. No, it's not. So you're, you're creating the ends, justifying the means. You're allowing all this criminal behavior because you're trying to justify the ideology that this cult leader, that's my dog, this cult, if you heard that shaking, this cult leader, leader is trying to um, promote, if that makes sense, right? Um, the us versus them. Uh, that's the one thing that drives me crazy. My dog's drinking water. If y'all hear weird noises, it's not a demon. It's literally my dog. <laughs> you know, the us versus them, the black and white thinking, horrific. You know, that's horrific. That's cult behavior. Um, and number th three is system of control. Number four is system of influence. And this is where the indoctrination happens. So they control the language, right? We have to say certain things a certain way. Um, they use social tactics that prey on your emotion. So start paying attention to this. They will use things like the children to justify the abuse and the criminal behavior they're mm -hmm. enacting on an innocent person and their fa fair game tactic. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right. So they're playing with you. And that's one thing the police said to me back in Atlanta. They took that very seriously because they're, she was playing on this, the emotional strings of people by talking about the children, which I have never done anything like that in my life in order to get somebody to act in a vigilante way to kill me. Thinking they, they, they will have like that, that particular cult leader has that particular kind of um, um, following those are the people that are looking for like what's going on in the world, right? Like that's like, what about the save the children, right? right. And then there's the other cult leader that we know of also that's dealing with the whole like, oh, healing and and your yes uh, esoteric oh. stuff. So, yes. So I mean, so they've got their own, you know, each well, I mean, there's different. I mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's everywhere. And we're going to talk uh -huh. about it. So I'm going to pull up some websites here. But yeah, absolutely. Healing. I mean, you can find these cults anywhere with anything. The bottom line is, and Dr. Yanya said this, a healthy organization, an unhealthy, or what are the differences? Well, in a healthy organization, everything's transparent. Everything is transparent. You know exactly who the, the person running the organization is. They're not trying to take, you know, like I look at, you know, our yoga shala, for example. You know, when we're teaching in the MISA room, we're the teacher. That's it. But once the student leaves, we have no, we, we don't interfere with people's lives. And we're very transparent with what this is, you know, and, and where our education comes from. A cult leader, so teachers, a teacher's job is to eventually not be needed. That's the teacher's job, is to eventually not be needed. A leader's job or a cult leader's job is to always be needed. Right. So so that's the big difference. You know, eventually a teacher, you know, for me and my journey, my teachers in America, I eventually outgrew them. That's when I was able to go to India. Right. So, so I, you know, right now I'm authorized. So now I'm a teacher. Yeah. So and I don't get involved. I never I you know I'll help my students with the doshas if they want to learn what their dosha is as far as their body. But I don't. And my boyfriend's really big about that at our yoga shala. 
We don't tell students what to eat. We'll talk to them about doshas, but beyond that, we say go to a nutritionist or go to an Ayurvedic doctor. We're very hands-off when it comes to if a student is having some issue in their life, like they're going through a divorce or they're going, we mm -hmm. have a ton of, of therapist uh, cards, business cards in our shala. And mm -hmm. we tell them to go see a therapist, that this is beyond our realm of teaching. We are just yoga. That's it. But we will be more than happy to help them find somebody else if they need a, an expert in this field. So that transparency is very, very, very healthy. You know, I've seen and this. You see this in the yoga world. There are yoga cults out there where they will not let their students hang out with anybody who doesn't practice yoga. That's stupid. Most of my friends don't practice yoga. Right? Like, I, it doesn't. You shouldn't have, yeah, you will when you get into a community, you will have friends that you meet through the practice. But mm -hmm. if you're, if you're, it's the same with religion, right? We see that with religions. If you're a Christian, how dare you be friends with a Muslim? How dare you be friends? That is cult. That's a cult behavior. That's control, high control. So let's go ahead. I wanted to first pull up because I think the easiest is the uh, charismatic leader. So I pulled up, this is from the Seduced uh, website from my friend Ke Kelly Till, who's been on my show a few times, hopefully coming back soon. She's traveling right now, but this is from their website and they have um, red flags. Blow is a list of red flags and key indicators of coercive, high controlled groups. Can you guys, Angie or Eric, do you want to explain to our audience? Um, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but what does coercive mean for people who might not know what that means? Do you guys mm -hmm. want to? Go ahead, Angela. <laughs> don't, don't you do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a dictionary in front of me. <laughs> like it just means like you're you're not like you're being when you're coerced. You're being, it's like you're being, being kind of manipulated, pushed, right. manipulated, pushed. pushed a certain way, pulled right. a certain way. Right. Right. Um, yeah, That's choice when you are coerced. Yeah. That's our so doctor. Yanya calls it bounded choice. You are right. bound something right. for example if you are in this telegram group of, of this woman who says she's a descendant of this person that she's not and she says she's what did she say she's mr t's um the other day she said she's mr t's advisor <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna get me snorting here <laughs> <laughs> when we're listening to it and we played it and my boyfriend's like play that again <laughs> Mm. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't think anyone should advise anyone. I think we should just advise ourselves, you know? Right. Yeah. That's well, coercive. So, a coercive. So, if there's somebody in that group that wants to challenge this person and question her, but yet they've seen what this person did to me when I challenged her, they might not. They might just go along to get along because they don't want the same thing happening. Scientology does it all the time with with um, what they call fair gaming. Same thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. So love bombing, too friendly, too quickly. I think this kind of goes into like, oh, you're now a part of a military operation. Look at you. You're the chosen one. Right? That's the yeah. same type of thing. You're now special. Charismatic leader, a person with special human qualities. Ooh, I can talk to Mr. T through my head. Or I can pull my pendulum out and tell you exactly who's good and bad. That they mm -hmm. have, they have, they're the only direct line to God. Um, this, I don't really see so much in the, in the truth or community group that, that making money utopian type of community. I've said many times before that it feels like we're heading into the handmade sale, <laughs> um, with truth, the world, because the, everybody's, everybody's, I, that's what I love about the American constitution. It says every human being has the right to pursue happiness. It, everybody's idea of a utopian society is different. It's different. My utopian society is probably not your utopian society. But with this group, it's an I ideology. So that's where we're seeing the rise again of fundamentalism in the truther community, which we know that's also part of the, the controllers is the fundamentalists. Uh, members encouraged to recruit. Isolation classes lasting 10 to 12 hours or a treat center with uh, difficult access. We see this big time on Telegram. So there are a lot of, I will actually put in the description box below. Um, I did, I covered uh, the love is one cult. I'm actually going to leave myself a note, uh, which was an internet cult still running. Um, that's based off of some of the same stuff we talk about in the truth of community. So it can be, so people will spend 
hours a day, I, I've now learned their whole day on Telegram. So they're isolated from the real world. They're isolating them. They're self isolating. That's one thing that happens in cults too. You start to self impose your own punishment, right? Eventually, it's kind of like the abuser doesn't need to be there anymore because you're abusing yourself. I mean, I, I've been mystified at how many hours. That's what I want to say to all of the flying monkeys out there who did this person's dirty work and left horrific comments on my one person I'm going to call you out, left a horrific comment under my two-year-old niece's birthday picture. <laughs> horrific. Mm. You're going to have to face God one day. <clears throat> with the things that you wrote under that picture. And you did it all for this crazy ass, narcissistic, pathological liar, cult leader. You have no proof of any of this. No one's shown any proof. There was one thing where she posted something that I had attended some Illuminati meeting back in 1984. Y'all, I was born in 1983. In 19 Jeez, you were you really uh <laughs> so little genius baby because i and i didn't yeah. i wasn't even my i was still in diapers right so i don't know maybe not maybe not i don't think i had hair in 1984 my mom was laughing it took two years to grow hair so she like blew it uh -huh. people knew i was a girl so you know oh, no, i was i was i was pretty i was doing math when I was one, <laughs> <laughs> I can speak in full sentences. It's, del it's delusional. It's just delusional, right? So <laughs> they get in this mindset because they've been isolated. And so that's what I say to those people who left horrific comments on my social media or left comments in the group saying they want to see me hanging, uh, swinging from a tree or the vultures out there that want to take my dog after I'm killed. Um, what have you done with your life? Because I've actually helped children with my two hands. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And you don't owe me the apology. You owe those children in India an apology because you made a mockery of, of their life being saved. Right. Thank you, very much. you made a mockery of it. And what about the people who are actually out there hurting kids? And you're just sitting behind telegram, abusing people. That's all you're doing. Honey, you're going negative. I'm sorry. If you don't turn this ship around now and course correct, you're going to be going fourth density negative. It's been a while, but this happened to me too. You know, it happened to me yeah. with a, a group called Mediocre Ladies. I can say it loud and proud because they no longer exist. I mean, some of them got fired from their jobs because when we reported everything that was happening, and this was locally here in Athens, but um, they were screenshotting like my pictures. Like if I was say at the beach, you know, and I'm my feet are in the water or whatever, you know how we do those pictures. They would like put that picture on the group and they'd say, I hope she just walks on out into the ocean and she just drowns. And like, I mean, just like, you know, and I'm like sharing like the most positive things, you know, like what in the world? But it's the same. Like they, they don't have any kind of light inside of them. They cannot create. No light inside of these people. And for those that do have a light somewhere that's been drowned out by this cult, I hope to God you get your shit together because what you have done is as a flying monkey, you're just as culpable as the cult leader. And that's why I'm telling you and I'm warning you now. I have been working with the police for quite some time now. Angie knows all about it because she lives 90 miles from me. Um, she she knows everything that's been going on. I've been working hand in hand with the police. And so they are watching. They, these they are watching these groups. So you better be careful because you could mm -hmm. end up in prison too. That could be your, that's your prosperity package, my friends. Mm -hmm. A four by four prison cell. Because you cannot threaten people's lives. You cannot do that. If you that's need a description of a four by four prison cell, and uh, just <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. three hots in a cot. Yeah, mm -hmm. you'll go get your three meals a day. Right. Uh, right. So and you don't have to do anything. Prosperity package. So the isolation. Just make sure you're not spending all day on Telegram. Make sure you're not spending all day watching YouTube's. Or if you do watch a bunch of Truth or YouTube's, I appreciate everybody who watches my channel. You guys are amazing. But if watching too much of me is pulling you away from your life, turn me off, please, and go spend some time with your family. I want you to spend time. I want you go outside and play with your dogs. Go outside and play with your kids. Put your cell phone away. Get back to who you are because that's really who you are is you, right? This is your experience. 
So make sure you're not self-isolating. Rejection or shunning if a member is not on board with it at all. Hello, that's what we've been talking mm-hmm. about. Your gaming. A mission I that we've you're... all been, I think we've all been through number seven, you know. Yeah. Yes. yeah. All of us. With the other cult, with the divin the pendulum cult, mm-hmm. the minute you you dare to question anything about the leader, you are mm-hmm. told the was dark and you're removed from the group. Just oh, to- yeah. Happened to me. It happened to you too. It happened to a bunch of people that messaged me. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I ever brought this person on my channel because Jesus Christ, what a psychopath. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, a mission that is the focus is all of the members. So everybody, everybody's on this military operation. Everybody's on this spaceship. We're helping saving humanity. Other yeah. people are going to yeah. help you because you're the chosen one, right? Mm-hmm. Questions yeah. are or even punished. That kind of goes back with number seven. Mm-hmm. Or number, yeah, number seven is the questions are discouraged, even punished. How dare you question? Which again goes into the transparency. So if you're joining like a yoga shala and they're really transparent and they answer your questions, you're pretty safe, right? But when they're discouraged or punished, you know you're in a cult. Leader details the values of the group, what is right and wrong and what is good and bad. So you don't hold the keys to your own moral compass anymore. The cult leader does. The narcissist does. Group is a, a group. This got me. Number 11, y'all. Number 11. This is the poster child for the tr- truth or community. Group is elitist. Claims to know more. Do we? Do we know more? No, we're just we're just seeking. We're just seeking. That's right. That's right. <laughs> across the street who watches Fox News all day? No, because there's just as much fake news and the truth. Are, that's what gets me. People are like, oh my God, my neighbor has no idea what's going on because all they watch is CNN. And I'm like, well, all you watch is YouTube. You don't research either. Your neighbor is say, saying what is repeating what Anderson Cooper says verbatim as fact, but all you're doing is repeat, repeating what a truther says as fact. Neither mm-hmm. one of you are doing your research. Right. Do your own research. So how are you any different? If you are going around repeating what a truther says, you are without doing research, you are no different. Hear me, you are no different than the person who is repeating what the, the mainstream media is saying verbatim. There's no di- there's there's it's just blind obedience. And you think you're better, you think you know more. The M, the us versus them mentality, we talked about that. Leadership induces guilt in, in members in order to control. Members are encouraged to spend a lot of time with the community. Um, deception, secret, and lies supported by the me- uh, members to uphold the leader and organization as a whole. Yes, like my situation with this cult on Telegram. It's all lies, guys. Not one thing they've said is truth. Not one thing that she has said is truth. None of it. It's all lies. But for the members who've been so indoctrinated into this to give it up, it's, it's like the Mark Twain saying, it's easier to fool someone than convince them they have been fooled. So in order to admit that you've spent all these hours for nothing on a lie is really hard to do. But hopefully talking about the criminal implications in this will wake some people up. All right. Mm. If it's a problem, it's you. It's always you. It's never the other person. It's always you. So anything you guys want to say about that until we move, uh, before we move to the bite model, which I will put this in the description box below, guys, so you can explore it on your own time. Um, is there anything you guys want to say about this before we move to the bite model? Mm. Pretty much explain. Like every single one of those things is, is something that we've dealt right. with, mm-hmm. with um, yeah. that would be too, that, you know, and also other, you know, Things like I was saying, mm-hmm. the Twitter thing, you know, where, and I'll, I'll see what the people are saying back and forth, like, oh, you know everything. How do you have all this information? Oh, well, I, you know, I get it from <laughs> yesterday. A lot of people were saying this. I get it from Telegram. I get oh, it from God. Telegram. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, I just want to know, like, so there are people on, on uh, Twitter that have like 20,000 followers, and clearly they have, there's, they, they talk about truth and stuff like that. You know, I'm just wondering like how, you know, they'll have like 
practically zero follow or they will be following practically no one, you know, right. but then they'll have like 20,000 followers. And they never and notice, they help. usually don't show their real self. It's always some kind of a, you know, a, a avatar of some. Right. Form. They, yeah. How does that happen though? Like, well, cause. Well, we know in the bigger scheme of things that there are infiltrators. Like I think the woman, the telegram cult leader who thinks she's the descendant of the famous scientist, I think she's just crazy. Like I don't think I don't I mean I've met her in real life. Like she's just batshit crazy. Like she tried to make my sponsorship look bad too, which really pisses me off because the last time I met her in person, oh. she was like negative she told me she was negative seventy dollars in her banking account. We were at lunch and I was like, That's not good. You need to be able to pay your bills. And she's like, Mr. T doesn't want me to be greedy. I'm like, Mr. T's a fucking billionaire. And what I know of him, he pays his employees really well. And so I was like, why don't you take some sponsorships to help you be able to pay you to be able to put food on your table? That's martyrdom. Martyrdom isn't a good thing. And no, so I went, food, I went, got her some food, you know, and then she should turn that around to make it something bad. And it's not. And they're all, I mean, that's part of the med bed thing, right? Like uh, med beds, well, a SIA is probably the closest thing to a med bed that we have. It allows your body to rebuild itself. But an actual med bed is part of wishful thinking. Wishful thinking is part of the negative path, right? You can have daydreams and you can have imaginations and think of a better world. But to actually put your energy into something like that, that's really a form of entitlement, is putting you on the negative path. And this is something everyone needs to research for themselves with the law of one so that you have a better understanding of it. But this brings us, and I've talked to the bite about the bite model a lot on my channel, but it's always worth reviewing. Uh, I think this is one of the most brilliant um, templates to talk about uh, coercive control and mind control. This is one of the best templates to ask yourself if you are in a cult on Telegram or in the truth of the world, this is a uh, bite. It stands for behavior, information, thought, and emotional control. Now, I know mm -hmm. that we're, I'm running a little bit low on time. And so um, I'm going to pass this over to you guys. Is there anything that you guys want to say specifically about any of this behavior control, informational control, thought control, or emotional control? Mm. Mm. Behavioral. Reading all the things. Can you can you scroll up? Or, um, back to behavior. Uh, yeah, behavior information. Um, I mean, regulated individuals' physical reality. Hello, that's like uh, telling you guys that the white hats are in control and they're the ones right. doing all these horrific things. Right, and I think that I think that there are white hat. Okay, I think that. I think that there are black hats that are posing as white hats and giving disinformation, you know, like I've seen, I've seen one person talking about like who's being executed. How the hell do they know who's being executed? They don't freaking know. So I actually do have, this is one thing I told the cult leader on Telegram, which freaked her out and pissed her off. I was like, I actually do have military contact. I actually do have real people that I talk to. And I will tell you one thing, it's against the American Constitution. To execute yeah. a political leader without telling the people is against the Constitution. So people are being executed without the American people knowing that we've got a battle of two different factions of black cats on our hands, and there are no white hats. Right. So that's the reality. And, but look, uh, regulate individuals' physical reality. So if you're telling people that, the, oh, don't worry, wink, wink, don't worry, it's the white hats in control. That's why children are being mutilated. Then who's going to yeah. fight back? Mm -hmm. Grab your popcorn. It's grab just watch yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> that's um, uh, Grab your popcorn. Trust the plan. These are, mm -hmm. these are cults. They're always phrases and cults that stop you from critically thinking god gave you the ability to critically think to save yourself i had someone say that to me on a, on a comment once that oh bryce you're just losing faith and i said well that's a cult response yeah. if someone starts to question and they go oh you're just losing faith that is a that is big time cult behavior 
if there's a big Baptist church here, um, and years ago when I worked in the bank, I worked with a, a, a girl and one day, I mean, right in the front door, coming through the lobby, there were like three like church men, you know, in their suits, <clears throat> the church that she attended and they were coming to just get her out of work. Like they got her from the teller window and set her down in the lobby and told her that they had found out that she had had sexual relations with, you know, her boyfriend that also went to the church and that she was going to hell. And I mean, this, this is real. But so I was reading down, like there's a, I don't know. I mean, this is a 30 something year old woman, (laughs) but, and she, you know, and she went along with it. You know, she went along with it, went to all this counseling. They couldn't see each other. I mm-hmm. mean, mm-hmm. I actually thought that they were really great for each other. And now they, you know, I don't know. This is just, I don't know. Something in the, in the list just made me think of that. Like, you know, you know, telling you a uh, when, how, and with whom the member has sex. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there it is. I don't know. That just like. Ding. I, I yeah. just never will forget that. Also, also, let's talk about um, well, force individual to rape or be raped. You know, then this is this. I mean, clearly, a <laughs> cult leader is a narcissist, right? You know, and and it, this never happened to me. You know, but but I mean, it's kind of a narcissistic way of handling shit you know required for major decisions i mean that's like that church that is that's total that's a major decision you know i mean and uh they just kind of i don't know they control that shit so yeah i mean impose rigid rules and regulations Um, Mm -hmm. individualism encourage group think you can't Mm -hmm individuate you you see that dr yanya and dr ramani speak about this a lot not just with cult but cults with narcissists as we start to grow up as we're children and we're growing up you know as kids we want to be like our friends we also at that same time we are developing our own individual persona and personality and a healthy organization there's going to be respect for people's individual personalities and individual thoughts and um and expressions of life but in a mm-hmm. cult or a narcissistic relationship, you are not allowed to be an individual. You you have to like it's like a devolution, not an mm-hmm. evolution. It's a devolution where you are not encouraged to individuate. That goes back mm-hmm. to um, not being able to question or being right. censored. When you you know a lot of these Telegram groups where there's a cult leader, um, there's no way for a person to like even leave a comment. It's just the cult leader or the admins because they are controlling the narrative. They don't want anybody questioning, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, you know, we see, uh, let me see here. That um, happened to me in that in that particular cult where, you know, it just said you were unable to comment. Oh, <laughs> your, yeah. Your, your ability to comment or whatever has been removed by right. admins. <laughs> like, right. Well, what, what about uh, compartmentalize information into outsider versus insider doctor? Where are you know, from? Yeah, that's a good one. Which that's one? Number three on the next on information control. Oh yeah. Yep. Compartment. Uh, yep. Because it's like you're dark and I can't talk to you, you know, because I'm light. Yeah, you tell the cult members that all those persons <laughs> gone dark, they're bad. All they did was question right. the cult leader. That's all they did. Right, right, right. And and that's it. The cult leader never goes dark. No, they don't because they're always right. But then once you prove them wrong in front of people. All hell breaks loose. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, this particular <clears throat> cult leader you're talking about, Eric, she actually contacted a SIA to try to get my sponsorship taken mm-hmm. away. That's right. in the file with the mm-hmm. police as well. And a SIA basically laughed at it. It said, don't mm-hmm. We got you. Right. Right. So um, that's in the file with the police right now. And isn't it odd that that these cult leaders or narcissists are coming out of the woodwork? You know what I mean? The They're great coming. Yeah, 
we're seeing the great division now between fourth density uh, negative and fourth density positive. So anybody who's censoring, anybody who is doing things like telling people their soul is black or pretending like they hold the information themselves, like they are the special earpiece from God, that's all going negative, guys. Because of fourth density positive, it's a social memory complex. So everybody is working together. I've said this on my channel. Now, not, none of us are perfect. Like, I've fallen for shit, too. But I've said this on my channel multiple times. Research everything. Even me. Even me. You don't need me to think for yourself. I want you to think for yourself. I want you to know who you are and make your own decisions. Because a good person will never interfere with your free will choice. Right. And that's and that's the total key. You know, you think for yourself, you are you are, you know, you are your own guru. Right. Right, right, right Angela? Yes. <laughs> um, we're we're no all, one, all three no of us can, got out of that same cult. Right. Yes. Right. No one. No one can tell you that you are anything less than what you are. No, no. And it's not they can tell I've tried them. to find this person online, you know, like the name and right. it doesn't exist anywhere. You can look me up. I'm everywhere. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> <laughs> the good, the bad, the crazy, whatever. It's out there. Oh, uh, you can look yeah. up Bryce. I yeah. found Eric online. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was. It must have been hard to find me. I, got a, a, yeah. I have a serial killer named after me. <laughs> But no, this person, I mean, both of these, both of these people are very difficult to find any mm -hmm. information about because they right. are a con right. artist. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, unethical use of confession. This same cult that the three of us were in, I let this person do a healing and I uh, disclosed some, inf some information about myself that I was struggling with for my healing. What did she do once I was not in her favor anymore? Oh, she, she, she smeared it. She smeared you. So don't go to anybody for healing, guys. If they're going to be using your private, and for, as a yoga teacher, I would never in a million years disclose anything my student told me in confidence. Anything. I take that shit very seriously, just like a counselor. And right. I that's where they need to go. I would never do that. Right? Okay. So that's an ethical right. profession. Um, information that's about what they do. That's what a narcissist does, too. They they. they right sure you know those deepest right. things you tell them everything and then they use they'll it use it, they pull it they pull it out and they use it against you you know and then they'll be like um well it's ego it's your ego you know you got a problem with your ego you know and it's just like no <laughs> no the one, that, the one that claims to be the descendant of the famous scientist she's always leaving his voice messages about it's like she thinks she has her own reality show it's kind of <laughs> Telegram. <laughs> I don't have an ego, and like everything's about her family and how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, um, well, the one, the the person that we were all in the in the group with, you know, um, she said she didn't have any shadow work. She said she was done. You know, if you're in a human. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, too. This particular person you're talking about, though, that we were all together, has absolutely zero education when it comes to spirituality. And um, I, the, the episode I did with Gabriella last week, which I'll put in the description box below, we talked about that. You have to have education. You have to have that. You can't just go around charging $4,000 a healing session, which is fucking ridiculous. I'm the only authorized teacher in the state of Georgia. My private lessons are like 200 an hour. My uh, Well, it sounds like you need to raise your rates. <laughs> So many students at AYA that are on, are on a sliding scale payment because of, of their financial, whatever they're going through. Like, we always honor that. And we're literally specialized. We are literally two of the only three people in the whole state of Georgia that have been authorized through this particular very, very high demand school in India that's part of the, the lineage. And we don't. Try. So this is something you guys need to look for. You need to ask the, if you are going to a healing person, you need to ask them. Emmy and I have spoken about this too. My friend Emmy, we uh, she ha she's extensively trained. You need to ask to see their training. Who is their teacher? Who do they learn from? Where? What is? You would not go to a surgeon who wasn't who didn't know how to do surgery, would you? You want to know where that surgeons learn how to cut people open? Like you want to know, right? So the same thing with a healer, right? 
So um, thought control, organizing people into us versus them. The awake, we're the awakened mm. ones. Oh, yeah. But your neighbor's not awake. Mm. Your neighbor might be more awake than you to the reality of spirituality. You're still stuck on the the facts of the, yeah, that, that us versus them shit's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's still black and white thinking. We see this a lot. You know, like I said with Sarah, the last episode I did with Sarah, like it drives me fucking crazy when people are like, you can't listen to the Rolling Stones anymore. Well, how the fuck do you know they're bad? Because some, they might be, I don't know. But were you there on Epstein Island? Were you there? Do you know what happened? And here's the thing. I'm not going to let this group steal my joy. I had a lot of fun as a child listening to the Rolling Stones and listening to Led Zeppelin with my parents and dancing with my sister. My parents kept all of their records from the 70s. And my sister and I would go through all those records. We knew how to work a record player. We would play the records and dance around together. That's my joy. I've never a song called Angie. Yes. Rolling Stones. I mean, yeah. Angie. <laughs> my brother-in-law's mother's name is Angie and his dad sings that to her all the time. But you know, like that's my, and I, I said this, don't let people steal your joy. Tell you what is good and what is bad. If you have good memories as a child, listening to the Rolling Stones with your parents, don't let somebody take that away from you. Cause you don't, that's your memory. And that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing is their organ. Their um. Where did I see that? Anyway, all right. The map of reality. You have to adopt the group's map of reality. It's all the white hats, guys. It's all the white hats. Mm -hmm. As children are being, children are being mutilated. Right. My, my boyfriend just well, <laughs> Okay. I I also want to say one thing. You know, uh, I think I think it's amazing how okay. June was Pride Month, right? And then what happened on the 30th of June, you know, with the Supreme Court? <laughs> I mean, sorry. Yeah. I just thought that was amazing, you yeah. know? Yeah. Then there's no such thing as coincidence. Everything happens for a reason, you know? Yeah. And the truth is coming out. It's coming out finally. Absolutely. So. And hopefully we're... I mean, listen... I know the three of us don't claim to be the keepers of truth. I always say I'm a seeker. I'm just I'm just looking for the answers. But I'm hoping that this information that we're providing will give people the ability to do their own research and find a therapist if they need a therapist that will help them. But do you notice some of these cults always talk about how therapy is bad? Psychiatrists, and there are some bad ones, but they're bad ones in every every community has bad good people. But I had an amazing experience with my trauma therapist. Yeah, mm. you know emotional control this is the worst this is the emotional control they manipulate and narrow the range of feelings some emotions and our needs deemed as evil wrong or selfish it's emotional emotional stopping techniques to block feelings of homesickness anger doubt make the people person feel that the problems are always their own fault never the leaders of the group's fault right identity mm -hmm. guilt you're not living up to your your potential they still in fear um, of thinking independently, yeah, the other just critical thinking. Thinking independently is critical thinking. Um, losing one's salvation, we see that in religions a lot. Um, extremes of emotional highs and lows, long, love bombing, crazing one moment, and then declaring you a horrible sinner the next. Hello, that's what the pendulum cult does. One moment you are you are on the light, the next mm -hmm. moment your your soul's gone dark. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, she kept she kept trying to get me to film with her and I was busy. I was traveling and things and I would just say, oh, I can't, you know, this day or whatever. The more I said no to her, the darker I became. <laughs> it was like, well, Angie, you're not dark, girl. You are not dark. <laughs> Shining of those who leave so dark. <laughs> like, this is why I think so many people stick it stick in with the telegram group that with the, the scientist descendant is because of what happened to me. They're scared to leave because of what happened to me. Um, and threats of harm to ex members and family. Hello. Yeah. That happened to me big time. I had to have, we had to have a police officer come to our house in Atlanta and make sure everything was secure mm -hmm. because there were, that, that's how bad the, the, the death threats were. Mm -hmm. So, it was bad, um, but I will say, 
I told Angie, the original cop that I worked with, the female that came to my house, she was fucking awesome. She was so <laughs> professional at the very beginning. She's been by the after hours of her being in my house. She, I thought she was going to invite us to a cookout because she was laughing hysterically after she got the story of what was going on. <laughs> I told Angie, one voice where she says that I'm the same as Hillary Clinton. <laughs> the officer did this slow look around my apartment and then she looked at me and she was like really <laughs> your apartment might be Hillary's uh, closet you're the same as Hillary Clinton I'm like yes yeah, it's obvious <laughs> I live in a tiny apartment like um, and so she did her sense of humor um the cop sense of humor actually really helped me a lot because she was laughing. By the end of it, she thought it was hysterical, everything um, that this person was saying, although she was very concerned by the threats. And she even explained to the detective, because I am a pub considered a public person, because I have over 10,000 subscribers that puts you into public person arena, that the threat becomes even more intensified because people get brainwashed and they want to, they think that they, if that, you know, if I were to take my dog out and get someone shoot me because they've been convinced by this cult leader that I'm doing these things that I'm not, that they're on some special mission by the military. And so therefore they have clearance to create violence. We see this all the time. Mm -hmm. It's some wild, wild country with the um, Osho, that cult where they created violence because they feel like they have some mandated authority to do so, you know? So I don't, I mean, and really when you talk about the following, I don't have that kind of following. But here locally, you know, years back when I first started the business, You're if famous. I said I would be promoting like a restaurant that I that I barter with or, you know, th that serves my product, I would be promoting their happy hour. And I wasn't necessarily there. I would just kind of call and ask them what their specials were. And I would be putting it out on Facebook. Well, people would actually show up thinking that I was going to be there. It happened a lot. I remember one time I did go <laughs> and I walked in. I was like, what is happening? There were like, there was like a, a woman sitting over here, another woman over here, another woman over here. And I was like, what? They were all at separate tables. Yeah. You know, and I was like, what is going on? And, you know, and I was like, wait a minute. Are y'all? I was like, why don't we just get a table? Like, <laughs> like and it was that I had said I was going to be making a delivery to Square One Fish Company. And, yeah, they were all there. Wild. Yeah. That's what I told. Because when I first started <laughs> working with the police, I did not tell them about my YouTube channel. Because in, even though this is a full-time job for me, I don't consider myself to be like a public person. I'm a yoga teacher. I go to the Publix, the grocery store down the street. Nobody knows who I am. You know? But mm -hmm. when I was working with a particular detective, <clears throat> he said, you need to make this very clear that you are a public, if you have over 10,000 followers, you are considered a public person that heightens our security up on you because people see you. And I, I do get it because I know I've had ideas about certain people before. When you see them on a screen, you think certain things about them that aren't necessarily true. And, uh, and so when I told the cop that they did have to come out, and put extra security around because people can get ideas in their head and therefore they think they're doing the Lord's work. When in reality, all they're doing is murder, right? So this is not uncommon. We've seen this in a lot of different cults. I gotta blow my nose, so I'm gonna mute myself. You guys keep talking. Mm, okay. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> but yeah, I mean, and don't don't dismiss that. Sometimes you know, I'll say like when I was just telling that story, like mm -hmm. you know, it's not me saying I am so you know it wild. It's, it's just it is true though that people i mean even if it's just one even yeah. if it's just one person mm -hmm. what was that selena that got killed by her her number you know like it's it's wild it's a wild world and i don't consider myself to be any type of like fan i mean literally nobody knows the fuck i am like my my best friend who is awesome he lives in toronto and in the yoga world there are yoga liberties like yoga teachers who are famous in the yoga world <laughs> right and my Ooh. best friend will 
be like, bitch, you ain't famous unless you're on the cover of People magazine. Like, let's let's get, you know, did anybody stop you in the in the airport and ask for your autograph? No, then you ain't famous. Like, you know, so it's a very surreal kind of dichotomy of of worlds. And when I started my channel, that never even popped into my head. It was like, I just want to be able to research stuff and like talk to other people and see what their ideas are, yeah. you know? So, but it did, it did change the level of investigation and the level of security once that was addressed with the detectives, because yeah. there is, cause they do deal with this when people have a public uh, persona, it intensifies. Like if you're a private person without any social media or small social media, the likelihood of someone finding you or wanting to hurt you is a lot less than when you have a bigger platform. So, um, so yeah, I, I, it, it was wild, but anyway, guys, um, anything I've got, no, I have to hop off soon because my boyfriend just got back, but, um, anything you guys want to end off with any final thoughts as I knock over my but, laptop? Um, just the answer is always in you, you know, you have the answer, you know, go, but if you want it, if you want to seek stuff out, research do it yourself you know no one's gonna no one's gonna save you you know you're gonna save yourself you know you got it you know the answer you know and it's within you so yeah miss angie there's a line in one of my favorite songs by shallow ray sunshine <laughs> Slip it. look I, th I might change my name you know to something something cool like that but and she says it says um we are the ones we've been waiting for, you know? So, right. when we're, you know, growing up, I was always, you know, Oh, a savior, a savior, a savior. You know? Right. 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 You right. look outside yourself. You know I mean? And it isn't outside of you. It's within you, you know? It's within you. And I want everybody to know that if you have fallen for the East, do, uh, Eric and Angie and I all have fallen for it. So yeah, that's another thing I wanted to say is like, don't, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. I mean, it's, it's embarrassing. A little bit. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if something feels off, if something feels off, you know, it probably is, yeah. you know, you have the answer within you. And if yeah, I didn't see you on the ship, and I was like, oh, it's not, I don't, I never remember going there yeah. at night. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I got, well, they got, they got healing chambers and everything on this ship, you know? And, you know, it must be a lot of work with you controlling not one, not just one ship, but you're controlling two ships, you know, yeah. which is like, well, how do you see how Heaven's Gate got so big? Like, we think of these crazy cults. We're like, how do these people, like, fall for this stuff? Shit, it's happening on Telegram every day now, right? And that's the thing I want to remind you guys, as Dr. Yanya says, cults don't look for stupid people. So if you've fallen for this, it means you're highly intelligent. They've used the best parts of you, which is your intelligence, mm -hmm. your empathy, your compassion, your idealism for a better future for everyone. Those are, those are all the best parts of you. Right. And, you and, to manipulate. Mm -hmm. and organic portals, they can't create, you know, they can't create. So they're using your intellect, you know, to kind of push themselves to raise themselves up. Right. You know? yeah, well, think about like the Nexium, like my friend Kelly Teal from Nexium. They, the more beautiful the woman, the more intelligent the woman, the better it made the organization look to the outsiders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go in and find in some like poor schlup with an IQ of 10. Mm -hmm. They're cult, right? They want people that can actually produce for them. Mm -hmm. Can actually intellectually help them. Right. But have, and that's what I've said, you know, the, the controllers are many things, but stupid ain't one of them. When you've got a psychopath, which, as that's what Dr. Yanya had said, narcissists are one thing, but cult leaders are narcissists and psychopaths. Psychopaths don't have any type of empathy. So when you have that much intelligence with no empathy, the amount of evil that can be done is just endless. Whereas the three of us have moral governors. They're, they're just things we won't do. We will never want it or never inherently do because we have empathy. 
and we have compassion, we have a moral compass. And so I, again, I want everybody to know that this is not a judgment. This is more of us trying to reach out and say, it's okay. There's help available. If you are in a situation in a cult where you feel like you cannot leave because of that bounded choice or because of coercion or because you are scared of the smear campaign, there are going to be research resources down in the description box below. I totally understand that. And as Dr. Romney has said, sometimes, yeah, it looks like you can't leave. But there are professionals out there that deal with this for a living that can help you. They're nonprofits that will do it for free to help you extract yourself from this. Okay? Right. And listen, listen, if I can survive the smear campaigns that have been thrown against me, anyone can survive it i know they're rough when you go through them if you need a helping hand i'm here angie's here eric we're all here we can help you or be a shoulder to cry on an ear to listen mm -hmm. right and and then hopefully at some point you just get to the point where you laugh about them i mean the truth's coming out at this point like everything that i've gone through is now being exposed i've got an email full of people sending apologies to me and because of some other videos that were made that exposed what was happening with me with another group. That's another cult. Um, so many cults, you guys. Like, so I just cult. So many cults in this truth or community. I mean, according to Dr. Romney, let me see. According to Dr. Romney, let me find my notes here. In America right now. Okay, so Dr. Romney says that it is estimated that there are 3,000 active cults in America alone right now 3,000 that's the ones that are reported wow what so anyway guys we love all you guys we want nothing but the best for every single person we want you guys to understand that you are all sparkles sparkles and and, and, and little parts of God you know I was thinking that one guy that was like don't steal my sparkle like don't let anyone ever steal your sparkle I like the Shanti that you come with also calls this like sparkly sheep yeah like sparkly you know sheep. right yeah not, not, not the black sheep not but the, the sparkly sheep, sheep. <laughs> don't let anybody steal your joy don't let anybody ever feel like they have a a a, a line to god over you because that is not true you are a fractal of god you are god's child Nobody can talk to God for you. Only you have that privilege of talking to God about yourself. And I want everybody to know that. I want to say one more thing. Um, okay, so we are, okay, we are created in the image of God, right? Okay, so uh, if you're looking for healing, you know, and we're created in the image of God, we, are, we have the ability to heal ourselves, you know, you don't need to go out and look for it, you know, because it's already there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I know that firsthand with Eric and I. So mm -hmm. was, right. Eric, I, I was saying, Eric, you did it. Like you healed me. And he was like, no, you did it yourself. So I was yeah. about to say, Eric, you do healing work. And um, I know you don't have a, have a YouTube channel, Eric, but can I, can I leave your email for people to contact you? Sure. Sure. You can. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Definitely. And you know, you it's. It's all about intentions, you know, that's, that's all it is. Yeah. You know, what I do is I just focus, I just focus the intention, you know, so it's not me, it's you, you know, so. Yeah, well, it works for me. Totally. Like, even like, um, I'll, sometimes I'll get like a little feeling again. I'm like, oh, oh, and I'll go, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't even think I can have a headache anymore. I can't make myself have a headache. Right. You know, I was telling my friend, I was that Mavis to me. I'm like, not today, Satan. Spray, 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 spray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have some uh, Florida water in my purse. Yep. And like, it, just when I go everywhere, I'm just like walking through a door. I'm like, <laughs> now I can go in. <laughs> That's really good, too. So I'm like, <laughs> It smells so good. good. Yeah, like, what, is that? what is that you wearing? I'm like, mm. <laughs> it's like, it's my juju -ju water. My juju -ju water. <laughs> anyway, guys. Well, I will leave the 
Angie and Eric's contact all beneath. Obviously, you guys know Angie. She has her YouTube channel, so they'll be linked to her YouTube channel as well, as well as her website and Eric's email address because Eric's an incredible healer and he can help you help yourself. So, um, and also under show notes, if you go to the description box under all the sponsorship stuff, you'll see a section that says show notes. I'm going to have Dr. Romney's page. I'm going to have the seduced page, the bite model page. I'm also going to have um, Dr. Yanya's page, all these different resources. I'm going to have Mark Vicente's uh, documentary, What is a Cult, down there. So you can start your own, you know, and just because your organization doesn't hit all the red flags, as long as it's hitting a few of the red flags, there's enough for you to start to question. And please know that as alone as there's also, if you're in a really big cult, like if you're not a YouTube cult, like if you're in like Scientology or one of these big Mac daddies, I'll even, let me leave myself a note. I will leave a link to the Aftermath Foundation which is a foundation that was uh, founded by some ex-Scientologists. Uh, but I think that they will, if I remember correctly, I think that they will also help people coming from other cults as well, um, give you a place to stay, help you get set up. So a lot of these bigger cults, people leave, and they don't have any money they don't have any education. They don't have a driver's license. And so they will actually actively help. And I am, going to eventually have Mark Headley come on this channel who is an ex-Scientologist to talk more about that because it's incredible what they're doing to really help people in recovery from culture. And also, please be kind to yourself because you have been through abuse. And that might be hard to wrap your head around at first. So whether it's with a cult or with just a narcissist, you have been through abuse. And so you need to be kind to yourself and forgive yourself. I was telling Angie yesterday, we were sharing some videos about complex post-traumatic stress disorder. And for me, it's been years since I was at less out of my abusive relationship. And there are still some patterns that I have that I recognize as being um, traumatic responses. And so this is a journey of, of self-healing. And so that's what I want. It makes me emotional. I don't want anybody out there to be duped or to be hurt buy a wolf in sheep's clothing because you don't deserve that. You are a beautiful, beautiful fractal of God. As, as Eric said, you were made in God's image. Nobody has the right to dominate you in that way. Right. And so I want everybody to take their power back and love themselves and know that there is goodness out there. And there are people out there that still care about the same ideolo ideology that you do. The three of us want a better world. But they're more realistic about it, and they're more, and they're not trying to control you. And at that same time, and so, um, so yeah. All right, you guys. Well, I gotta sign off here because I gotta go see my boyfriend. So, <laughs> anyway, I love you all, and we will all talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.